Good morning to you all, dear students. So today we will start with the new topic that is equality and justice. All right. So our aim for today is students will be able to explain the importance of equality and justice in a democracy. Resources needed for our class is worksheet S3, notebook, and exit content book. Keywords for today is equality and justice. All right. So this is the keywords for today. Okay, equality and justice. So let's learn what is equality and what is justice. All right. So in simple meaning of the terms, equality means the fact of being equal. All right. And what is justice? It is the state or characteristics of being just. Or fear, that is known as justice. All right, so let me ask you a question, okay? Do you think everyone is created equally in society, and why? All right, so do you think? Get okay, try to imagine. Do you think everyone in is created equally in society, and why? All right, I will just leave it on to you, okay, for that. So today, you will learn, all right, about the importance of equality and justice in a democracy. Okay, so today, you will learn about the importance of equality and justice in a democracy. All right, but before we get started, uh, all right, I will read for you, okay, and... You can even go through your content book, okay, from your content book. Under page 28, uh, the topic is equality and justice, okay, from your content book. So, you have to go through this case study, okay, case study. Struggle for equality in South Africa, alright. So, as I read for you, you please, um, alright, listen carefully. Or else you can even uh, get ready with your textbook and then you can compare even through your textbook okay under case study struggle for equality in South Africa I'll start in South Africa there was a practice of discrimination against people on the basis of color of their skin those with dark skin were known as blacks and they were denied many rights. Those who had light color skin were known as whites. The whites looked down upon the blacks. The blacks had no right to elect their leaders. They were not allowed to buy land in certain areas. They were separate hospital and modes of transport for them, which were not meant for the whites. Anybody who opposed these rules was sent to jail and punished by the ruling while government. This kind of discrimination was known as apartheid. Nelson Mandela, a leader of the South African people, opposed this discrimination and led a struggle against apartheid. After many years, Mandela succeeded in struggle in his struggle. And the blacks were given their rights. South Africa had a democratic election in 1994, where the blacks were allowed to cast their votes. Nelson Mandela was elected president, becoming the first black president of the country. Okay, so this is the case study about struggle for equality in South Africa. Right, so did you know? Black in the United States were also discriminated against by whites till Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks led the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 1960s. All right, like in South Africa, even in United States, black were discriminated by the whites. Okay, I hope now you are clear with it. So now from our reading, okay, in your Content book, you underline sentences which suggest discrimination. 
right black were denied many rights right so from the reading okay from your content book under case study you underline sentence which which suggests discrimination all right who is being discriminated against and by whom from our reading and why are they being discriminated against and how why did Mandela fight against discrimination and how did he give them justice okay very simple that is from our explanation and from our reading we have learned right who is being discriminated against and by whom why are they being discriminated against and how why did Mandela fight against discrimination and how did he give them justice all right please listen carefully okay so the black in south africa we are being discriminated against by whites because of the color of their skin all right because of the color of the skin the black in south africa were discriminated okay they were not allowed to buy property in certain areas right like the land and were denied the right to vote so they don't have even have the right to vote okay Similarly, they had separate transport and hospitals and were not allowed to go to the same restaurants and clubs which were meant for whites. All right. So not only that, uh, after a certain period of time, Mandela, he fought for equal rights for the black. That is so that they would not face discrimination. Okay. He believed that all humans are equal so mandela believed that all humans are equal and hence everyone should be treated in the same way all right in the society he brought justice for the blacks by allowing them their rights and dignity all right so this is how he fought for the black okay and he fought for the justice all right he brought justice for the black in south africa now equality and justice all right that is the important for democracy ensure by giving equal rights to all not discrimination allowed by law all right so this come under equality and justice for democratic country okay and it is very much important in a democratic country like india and the country which are following democracy democracy okay now what happens if people are discriminated against in society would a democratic government allow inequality in society and why is it important to have equality in democratic country what happens or i am going to repeat once again what happens if people are discriminated against in society and would a democratic government allow inequality in society why is it important to have equality in a democratic country all right just try to imagine okay and then as i explained to you you try to all right compare with your answer all right like what you are thinking okay so when people are discriminated against they are denied all right the opportunities that others have and this not only hinders their social socio-economic progress but in most cases it denies them dignity all right one of the main principles of democracy is treating everyone as equal and giving equal rights and opportunities to all okay hence it is important to have equality in democracy so that people also get fair treatment and justice if some wrong is done to them all right so equality and justice they ensures that one group of people does not treat another group in an unfair way unfair way or they discriminate against another group all right so that is all about equality and justice in democracy okay 
So now, last question for you, okay? How does a democratic government ensure that all are treated equally in a society? And how does it ensure justice? So we are living in a democratic country, right? So how does our government ensure that everyone is treated equality, equally in a society? And how does it ensure justice? All right. How do we get equality in a society and how do we get justice from the government? All right, that is from the democratic government. Okay, so you listen carefully, okay? And try to compare your answer. So in a democracy, okay, in a democratic country, in a democracy country, democratic country like India or any democratic country, okay, people have basic rights. That is including the rights to equality, wherein the law ensures that discrimination in any form is punished. Right. If one group of uh, people is discriminated, another group of people means they are being punished. Okay, and everybody is considered equal before law, which means that punishment for a crime is the same for everybody, whether they are rich or poor, whether they are black or white. Okay, and the government uses the police and courts to ensure justice. All right, the government, what do they do to ensure justice? They use the police and the courts, okay, to ensure justice or to give justice to everybody. Okay, now class word, okay, please do complete your worksheet as three, okay, from your own, all right, on your own, okay, individually, all right, so you have to do your worksheet as three, equality and justice, so for that, along with that, you please even, uh, you please even try to complete equality and justice, okay, under equality and justice, practice question 7, 8, and 9, alright, so this is your work for today, okay, so don't, don't only do equality, uh, don't only do that worksheet, but try even practice question, okay, along with practice question, you submit it to me after you have completed, so have a good day, take care, and stay safe.